on Blues Radio International. We're here today again with my friend Matt Schofield. Welcome, Matt. What is it that distinguishes Albert from others who were playing the same notes? Well, uh, first of all, with Albert, it's his bending. So from a technical standpoint, um, you know, we talked with the, in the BB segment, we talked about how really BB was the first person to bend more than just a little bit. And then, you know, BB's doing... Um, Albert comes along and Albert starts doing bends like this and nobody had done this before ever. So, um, I mean, that's a full, like, two whole tone bends. You know, um, so that was the, the first real signature thing about Albert. Um, of course, he's playing upside down completely as well, which is why it's so hard to get that that sound. So Albert took a right-handed guitar and just turned it over and just played it upside down. So his high strings are on the top. So he's where I'm having to push the note up. Uh, he was just pulling down and... Uh, so then he could get this vibrato on the on the top of the note, um, on the top of the bend, you know. So it's um, which I just can't do as effectively because um, he just had these huge hands and he's he's pulling down. And in fact, from a technical standpoint, to me it sounds he also had a crazy tuning. Um, I'm not even sure what it is. There's a couple of different. Steve Cropper's got one that he noted down during a stack session. And uh, I think Dan Irwin, the luthier who made his later 70s Flying V, he has a different tuning. He probably used both. I mean, like, so no one really knows exactly what the tuning was or for sure. But he was definitely tuned down a little bit. Um, but to me, you've got to, for us mere mortals, um, you have to play... Albert on the B string of the guitar, even though he was playing it on the E, those bends, because he's using these big strings tuned down early on, and he's just got these huge hands that he can do those bends. I can't. It's much much harder to do it on the high E string because of the way the tension on the different um, uh, notes, uh, the different on the scale length of the guitar, the way uh, the bends uh, work. So if you play Albert on uh, on the E string, it ends up sounding... That's basically what Stevie Ray did, because Albert being one of his huge influences. So... Sounds more like Stevie to me, whereas... Is more authentically Albert sounded to me for some reason. But... Um, um, it, so Ben's, first of all, he's upside down. He's, he's, he's pulling down instead. So it just lends this incredible, incredible strength to his playing uh, be, just because it's it's so physically strong you know and um, and direct and then he didn't really move his hands so all those notes you know um, They're all just within the one spot, and he's like literally wringing it out of the guitar. So I think that's that's the that's the also contributes to the power of it. Um, but mainly, he's just saying something with it. He's just standing up, and he's just telling you about it, and you can't argue because it's so genuine and so strong. So um, yeah, that's why Albert just I, I just kills just kills everybody you know and you see him when he's playing with i saw an interview with jimmy vaughan and he's like jimmy said albert king didn't care if you were bb king when he's on stage it's his show <laughs>